What is going on, Sneaker Life fam? It's your boy, J. Just Hope each and every one of you guys is having a safe and blessed day. I want to talk about these Air Jordan 1 Satin Bread, which is expected to drop October 18th, which is the official release day. And as y'all know, this is a women's exclusive, and these will be releasing in women's preschool and toddler sizing. Now, y'all remember back in 2016, these released as a men well these actually released in men's size and now they will be releasing at women's size and that's something that I am still you know not sure of that hasn't been confirmed yet is if these will be releasing in extended size and now it is said and shout out to Z Snigger heads that these will you know in that similar look to the 2016 pair now personally i definitely do rock with these i rock with the colorway i know it's an og colorway and nonetheless yeah i know for most who wasn't able to grab them back in 2016 because these were very limited only limited to 501 pairs you know back in 2016 but it seems like now we are getting a wider release and i definitely could see a lot trying to get their hands on these you know seeing how it is a women's exclusive now something that's been on my mind is you know as far as the air jordan one you know hype i feel like it hasn't been up to par you know based off of you know the air jordan 4 being at the forefront but i feel like when jordan brand gives us colorways like these especially you know that bread colorway i feel like these definitely will tend to do numbers and give that jordan one at least you know some hype you know what i'm saying because that hype for the jordan one right now is just definitely stagnant but i feel like along with these dropping that Jordan 1 hype would definitely start to at least creep back up, you know. I thought it would happen with the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens, but it seemed like that wasn't the case. But nonetheless, these will be dropping October 18th, and I believe retail still will be $180. And as I said, these will come in women's preschool and toddler sizing. I will have more updates for y'all once, you know, more info does come about and we do get closer to the release day. now you know lastly i do want to talk about these air jordan one travis scott's that will be dropping april 26 you know and if you haven't caught my video on the april 2023 releases make sure to go catch that because i did give you guys all the info about the air jordan one travis scott but as y'all know these are you know, this is a women's exclusive and these will be releasing in preschool and toddler sizing. And, you know, I feel like, you know, these right here is definitely, as we all know, it's a Travis Scott collab and it is rumored that this is going to be his last Air Jordan 1. And y'all already know how I felt about the Air Jordan 1s with Travis Scott. You know, I felt like it was definitely time for another silhouette. But... I personally feel like this is one of the best colorways that Travis Scott has dropped. You know, I feel like majority of the other colorways, you know, was just so much based off, you know, I mean, besides the Fragment Air Jordan ones, I mean, we got the mochas, the reverse mochas. I feel like these just went with a more different turn. Seeing how these got more black in them than the other versions did, I definitely do rock with these. Those black phantoms. Yeah, I know how I feel about those. Those just look like a regular black Nike dunk to me. But nonetheless, this is probably one of my favorite colorways from the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott collab. Now, what's crazy about this is, you know, we are less than a week away for release day. And man, prices on these are definitely high like i feel like this is the normal for when it comes to a travis scott collab you know prices definitely do be at a high and then i feel once release day comes you know prices definitely start to dip down like i want to say prices on these are definitely anywhere from 800 and up but you know nonetheless i feel like come the days towards release day prices will definitely start to double down and then after release day you know prices are definitely gonna start to rise back up now the question that sparks is should you guys pay that resale now personally y'all all know how i feel about paying resale i personally say wait it out because you know we do have you know 
two ways that Travis Scott is doing this release. You know, y'all gonna have a Travis Scott, you know, release on his website. Then we're gonna have a Nike sneakers app release. So I personally will say, if you are one of those, you know, you patient and you feel you can wait it out. I will say wait it out till release day. Seeing how, as I mentioned, prices are always, and this always happens with a Travis Scott collab, prices are always at that high point from, you know, weeks before the release is to even drop. So counting down the days till the release, you slowly start to see the price double down. So I definitely will say that, you know, as far as paying resale for these, you know, I will wait, you know, to see if you guys can get a pair for maybe cheaper or, you know, maybe even retail come release day. Like at some point, you know, paying resale for a lot of these shoes is definitely, you know, something that a lot of people have fear of because I feel like people have fear of missing out on the shoe. People have fear of not being able to grab that shoe. As most of you know, and I've mentioned it before, no shoe ever sells out. I mean, take a look when I've talked about the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Fragment Highs and the whole pot thing. I actually had, you know, someone comment and tell me that they had a plug in Memphis who actually still had pairs in the actual warehouse, which definitely let me know pairs do not sell out. You know what I'm saying? Nike just may be saving them for another shock drop or another restock. So definitely I know most people may have, you know, that tendency to want to grab this shoe because they feel like they may not get it on release day or they may not get it at all. But nonetheless, you know, I feel like, you know, paying that resale is just, you know, something that most people have that fear of, seeing how they won't be able to acquire the shoe. But as y'all know, and as I mentioned, no shoe ever really sells out. Plus, prices on these always tend to do the same, always at that high, and then they double down to the low. So hopefully, you guys are able to get a pair for retail come release day. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Will you guys be going for these, man? Cause definitely these are not gonna be easy to grab. I feel like some of the smaller sizes, you know, definitely will be more expensive. And I definitely feel like some of the bigger sizes will definitely be a lot harder to grab. So definitely, you know, make sure you got your notifications on the sneakers app for when, you know, this, shoe does drop and with that being said man like i always say you got your boy jay just you got the channel you got my thoughts and opinions on whether or not you guys should pay resale for the travis scott arizona one low olives if you did like this video make sure to leave a like make sure to keep the notifications on man. also guys make sure to subscribe to the channel as well because it definitely keeps the algorithm rolling man and you know got some banging reviews coming up so make sure you know y'all stay tuned for that but with all that being said man like i always say i love you guys so much i appreciate you guys reach for the stars sky's the limit and we out y'all